Hey everybody. So this time, as you might have guessed, we're going to go over a couple water drop sounds. I think water drops are great. They're fun to do, they're reliable. Even if you don't beatbox, they can be really cool party tricks. And if you do beatbox, they are really easy to incorporate into your beats. So the different kinds of water drops we'll be going over are, uh, the first sound is this. It's the basic water drop. The second sound, I call it the hollow water drop. Third, I call it the two part water drop. And the fourth. I don't know if it has a name, but um, yeah. The first sound, um, I learned this one a long time ago. It must have been 14 years ago. Uh, it's basically consists of this uh, click sound, a soft click, not a hard click, not like this. It's a soft one. And then um, the second part is actually used in almost all the water drops. It's, it's this um, kind of whistle sound. To learn the whistle sound, uh, you kind of can start with this kissing motion. So just kiss with me, not kiss me, just kiss with me a couple of times, you know, and then start the kiss uh, by having your lips slightly open. So not like this, but like this. And drop your jaw while you're doing this. This should create a lot, a lot more space inside your mouth. Inside your mouth. So when you do the sound, you might hear this kind of weak whistle. That's, that is basically it. Uh, when you add the click to it, it sounds like the water drop. So without the uh, whistle mouth uh, thing, it's this. Really soft click. And then do the whistle thing and drop your jaw and combine it with the click. It's kind of like saying wah, wah, but you don't breathe in. It's just like opening your mouth really fast. Another way to do this sound, it might be easier in the beginning. Uh, this is the way I learned it uh, at first all that time ago. Uh, it's you take your finger and you kind of snap it against uh, your cheek like so. This is kind of the same thing as doing the click. But I feel it's a bit easier to do if you click harder. Now it sounds like this. Versus. Now for this sound, I feel the hardest thing is timing. So it took me, let's say, maybe a week to get this into a reliable sound. But after that, I've known this sound for all those years. It's it's a really easy, fun sound to do. So yeah, I don't I don't think I have anything more to say about this sound. So basically, click the whistle thing, combine them. It seems easy, but after you put in a couple days work, it'll be easy for you as well. Now for the second sound. Um, it's kind of like the first sound, but for this sound you now uh, need to know how to hollow your throat. I just did a video on this like five, five minutes ago, so I'll link it in the description. It's basically it's a very, the very same thing. Uh, you have the same um, whistle position or movement, and you combine this not with the click, but this time you use a kind of, what should I call it? Well, it's a kind of K motion combined with the hollowing of your throat. It sounds like this without the whistle. It should be light. Uh, same thing as for the... You don't need a loud click for this sound either. Basically a soft K combined with the hollowing of your throat. So it sounds like this. Simple as that. Again, it may seem strange, but give it a couple of days. I think you will get it. Now for the third sound, uh, it's actually, 
Yeah, it's this sound. It's almost the same as the two before it. Uh, the same whistle position, but this time you don't say wah, you just say mm. 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 Kind of drop your jaw and keep your lips pursed. Okay, once you get this, you kind of want to keep the same position and then do this motion with your tongue. So basically, uh, flick it softly against the roof of the mouth. This is just to get the air inside your mouth go out uh, faster so you get the second whistle. So basically it's two parts. It's basically like saying do hot, do hot, hot, hot. It feels like this. But of course you're not breathing into your lungs at any point for this sound. So basically like that. Okay, now for the last sound. It's basically the extended water drop. But make it shorter. I did a video on this sound, I think it's great. Uh, just uh, make it short and punchy. This is, pretty, by the way, it's pretty hard to do it. So give it uh, a couple of days at least, let's say. Take that sound and make it short. And then combine it with the second part of the two part whistle. This part. So basically. Like that. Now I feel this sound is the least reliable of all of these. The starting of the extended water drop is quite difficult, but I'll see kind of where it goes, whether I can use it in beats or not. So yeah, maybe I'll do a, a follow up video on this later. I don't know yet. So anyway, that's the four sounds. I wish you good luck and uh, esh.